guys, it's Celine. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Celine Laszlo and I don't really make videos for YouTube anymore. I make them mostly for Instagram now. So if you want to see more videos from me, I would actually suggest following my Instagram um, at CelineX on Instagram. Uh, today I am recording a video for YouTube because I already made the same video for Instagram uh, this summer. And now it's just time to do the same thing for YouTube. And that is a hypercure surgery vlog. Um, in August, I had the first of two hypercure surgeries to fix overpronation in my ankle. So what overpronation is, is when your ankles, normally they're supposed to be straight, but mine lean inward. Um, so my pinky toes don't ever touch the floor. And the hypercure surgery corrects that. Um, in the outside of your ankle, there's this space called the sinus tarsi space, and they insert a stent or a screw into that soft tissue space, and that prevents it from collapsing, which is what happens with overpronation. Um, it sounds way, way more extreme than it actually was. It was about a 10-minute surgery, but because it was under a local anesthetic, it's being a really big ordeal. Um, they can do this under local anesthetic from the websites that I've read about it, uh, but no one in my area does it under local, and I really don't want a surgery under local anesthetic anyway. Um, so I'm making this video because when I... <sighs> words. Why do words always fail me? <laughs> I'm making this video because when I was doing research for my hypercure surgery, there weren't any vlogs about it, and I had no idea what to expect. I knew generally some stuff to expect from it, what my doctor told me, but I didn't have any patient testimonials, I guess you could say, on what to expect for the hypercure surgery. And so I thought I would make this video to help anyone else who's going to have the surgery uh, learn what to expect. Um, I have had the surgery scheduled for about a month, about a month now. But I wanted to record this video once I knew when my all my other appointments were, that I could just give all of the information now and then vlog everything as it happens. So because it's still like COVID times, um, I do have to have a COVID test before the surgery. Um, normally they would do it like four or five days before, but because of scheduling issues on my end and not having the COVID test until Monday, my surgery is on a Wednesday. So couple of days before but I think I'm going to like a rapid testing center um so I got a COVID test on Monday the 29th of November uh, I'm reporting this on the 18th so like a couple weeks before okay, that was weird I have no idea why but my camera just crashed on me very weird uh so keep going on I have the COVID test scheduled for 10 in the morning on the 29th and then I have my pre-op appointment uh, that evening, or afternoon really, it's like at 3.10 I think. Um, and the pre-op appointment, they just go over all of the stuff you need to know before surgery and what to expect after, all of those kind of things. Uh, I'm not at all worried about it because I already know all the information from my prior surgery. Uh, and then the day before surgery, they're going to call me and tell me what time to get there. And yeah then I just show up and it happens I think I think I was waiting for about two hours before um I went back into the OR and then I woke up I want to say like within half hour after surgery was over um the surgery like I mentioned only took about 10 minutes I was very very fast um and then I was out within 45 minutes of waking up I think so I was there for maybe like half the day-ish. I feel like I had to wake up at like 5 in the morning because of this carbohydrate drink that you drink beforehand. Um, and that helps aid in like your recovery. Um, so I feel like I had to drink that um, an hour before my call time to leave. Um, and I live an hour away from the hospital so I had to leave even earlier um, than my scheduled time to to get there um but the carbohydrate drink honestly didn't taste that bad um i can't drink anything down in just like one gulp so it took me a good like 20 minutes to finish it um but i had like a timer set because you only have like 15 20 minutes to finish the entire thing um and it's a full 12 ounce drink 
so that took me a while and i just like was washing my body doing all of that kind of pre-prep while i drank that um and then yeah i was home by like that afternoon uh, my pain honestly wasn't that bad i was on ibuprofen and tramadol and that really did help um but i had my first surgery on a thursday and i was feeling fun enough to go to church uh that sunday because i volunteer um at the sunday school uh at one of the local churches and yeah i was totally fine to go um so yeah that's like all the really all the really english celine use english please that's all the information i have for right now um i will check back in with you guys on the day of um pre-op oh wait i forgot ha forgot one more thing um next week they're gonna call me and that's like the clear for surgery phone call um where they just ask you like a bunch of medical questions and you answer them um that's when you know if you need any labs done beforehand um they did do labs on me beforehand and i'm gonna try to get them done again this time too because i was on ibuprofen and tramadol and i want to make sure that you know my body's doing okay um so i'm gonna try to do uh the labs on tuesday because then i am gone for a few days for thanksgiving and then i come back and then my surgeries that wednesday like i said um so yeah i will check in check back with you guys uh next week Hey guys, so I just got off the phone with the doctor for the clear for surgery call um, with mine and I'm clear for surgery as I knew I would be. The only thing they said was to talk to my doctor when I go next week for the uh, words, the kit that's supposed to send me with the cleaning wipes and the carbohydrate drink because it never came in the mail. Um, yeah, that's the update. Hi guys, good morning. Uh, today is the 29th of November. It is 8.22 in the morning. Um, I am, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of having a panic attack right now because I am heading to the city for uh, my pre-op COVID test. Um, my body is really sensitive to the COVID tests. Like, they hurt my body probably a lot more than they would for uh, someone else. Uh, so that is what I'm panicking about right now is that test. Um, I know it's going to be negative, but still panicking here. Um, all I really have to do to get ready for going into the cities uh, to get out of my PJs uh, and put on my contacts. And I'll wear makeup because I have this little trick my friend Becca taught me. That when you go to doctor's appointments and you want it to go a specific way, they're more likely to listen and help you if you don't look put together. So today's the day that I go out looking like a trash doll. Hey guys, so COVID test done, they suck. Um, they hurt really bad for me. And I'm going to Target because I want to try to find uh, PJ pants that are really white on the bottom that will, they'll fit over whatever splint caster boot I'm in after surgery. Um, and then there's a couple other little things that I wanted to grab. Um, so that's my next errand. And then I think I'm gonna go get tea after this uh, before my pre-op appointment at 11.30. Hi guys, so I am now in the waiting room at my uh, podiatrist office, just waiting for him. Um, he has an appointment with another patient, so it'll probably be a little while while I wait. Um, but I've got a book to read, and so I'm just going to be reading this book while I wait for him, and I will update you guys when I'm done. Hi guys, so I just got out of my appointment with Dr. T. It went well. We discussed uh, the split for the... Uh, ankle after surgery, the risks, the benefits, all that kind of stuff. He did evaluation. Um, we just had little conversations about the first surgery I had in August. Um, and now I'm just waiting for x-rays. And then, yeah, yeah I'll be ready to go. Uh, he did say that I was going to be the first one to be operated on on Wednesday, but the roads get really icy where I live and I'm an hour away from the hospital. So I hold on to maybe push it back just a little bit later in the day. So it'll probably be uh, in like, the late morning afternoon-ish, well not afternoon-ish, like mid late morning-ish, I know right now, um, but they'll call me tomorrow to let me know what time to be there. Um, and I got the box with the carbohydrate drink I have to have and then the wipes, uh, which was not mailed to me like it was last time. Um, so yeah, appointment went well, uh, x-rays, and then I'm done for the day. Hey guys, so it is around 10 o'clock and I have 
clean my sheets, I took a shower, I washed my body with like the antiseptic wipes that they give me, um, I washed my hair, I braided it, um, I did my facial skincare stuff, uh, washed my sheets, changed my sheets of my bed, I did my affirmations, my scripting, um, so I've basically done everything I need to do for tomorrow. Uh, I plan to wake up between like 7.30 and 8 because I have to start taking that carb drink at 8.15 and it always takes me a bit to actually like wake up in the morning so I'm going to wake up just a tiny bit earlier than what I normally would do. Uh, and I will see you guys tomorrow for surgery. Hi guys, good morning. It is December 1st. Rabbit, rabbit. <laughs> It's a weird thing that I've done ever since I was a kid. Apparently, if you repeat that on the first day of the, every month, you get good luck. Or some such thing. So, there you go. Uh, it is about 8.15 in the morning. And I am about to start drinking the carbohydrate drink that they have uh, me drink. Um, and then at around 9.15, we're going to head to the city. Hey guys, so I am in the pre-op waiting room ish. I've done all the things I had to do. I got lovely IV going um, and I'm waiting for my doctor to come and sign off on my leg and then to talk to the anesthesiologist. Uh, so yeah, I'm pretty much just, just chilling here. I got my lovely mother. You gonna say hi? Yeah. Yes. Hi. Hi. Uh. Hi guys. So a uh, lot of time has elapsed since I last vlogged anything. Uh, surgery went well. I got back home around like four ish, I think three thirty four ish. Um, when I got out and was in the car, I jumped on the chronically iconic uh, Zoom chat. I uh, love all my superheroes. They're great. Um. And then I've just been like laying in bed and watching TV. You got, uh, you can't see it. The lovely splint there. Uh, and we're, we're doing good. So far I can say the splint is uh, 10 times more comfortable than the boot they put me in last time. Hi guys, it is December 2nd at 11.02 in the morning. Um, I'm just giving you guys an update on how I'm doing. I am doing fantastic, actually. I am doing really well. Um, not in a ton of pain. I, I'd say it's maybe like a four or five out of my pain scale. And let me tell you, I have a really high pain tolerance because I've got complex regional pain syndrome. And I've been living in burning nerve pain since I was 20. So ankle surgery pain is something compared to what I normally deal with. Um, but yeah, I'm just chilling in bed for most of the day. I've got a lot of friends who are texting me and they're all super sweet. So I love talking to them. I've got shows to watch in Book Street. So I am doing pretty good and I'll update you guys later. Hey guys, today is December 16th and I am about to head out to the city uh, for my post-op appointment and x-rays. And I will show you guys what happens. Damn, that's a lot of bruising. A lot more than my first foot when I had the surgery in August. Hi guys, it is around 4.20 and I've gotten, I got back home maybe an hour ago and I was just putting away stuff. Um, my post-op appointment went well. The implant is in a good position. I also had x-rays and then it's coming back normal, I guess you could say. Um, there's a lot of bruising, which you guys would have seen from the previous clip, but that is totally normal. And hopefully it'll go away soon. Um, I'm going to ice it and see if that helps. Because it really freaking hurts. Um, but I'm doing good. And that concludes this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And that if any of you guys have hyperacute surgery, this vlog helps you understand what's going to happen. If you have any questions about the surgery I had or the recovery, please leave them in the comments. See you guys next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.